OIT hosted its 15th annual Haunted House on October 28th, with proceeds from the event going to local food banks in time for the holiday season. Setup for the event took all day, but the process paid off, drawing a line that stretched from the residence hall to the parking lot. Construction was on schedule under the direction of OIT's Dean of Students, Aaron Foley. This is the 15th annual OIT Residence Hall Haunted House, and it's um, bigger and bigger every year. This is my ninth, and it was a tradition well before I came, and we've continued it every year. We get all the students involved, and we ask that anybody who comes and participates brings canned food for the um, county food bank. Oh, I think last year we had over a thousand pounds, and then another three hundred dollars worth of cash donations. So that buys another lots of pounds. I don't know the conversion, but it's quite a bit. Two rooms for younger children were also set up, complete with games and more age-appropriate decorations. The two outside houses were still the main attractions. Um, we're doing a zombie-themed tent, and so what we're doing right here is there's going to be people with um, their arms sticking through and, like, pretending to grab at people, but not really grabbing. We're setting up the walls for the very scary tent. We have lots of masks. Yeah. Wow, we yeah. hopefully scare a lot of people. Got some old, freaky guys. Got some you get skeletons. We're going to be a little covered in blood, and I'll just kind of be sitting here. Zombies won't get me. No! No! <laughs> well, we do two scary, and we are careful that they're not over the top, because then we have the two very scary. And those are more of the traditional, really, really scary haunted house type. Somebody jumping out, screaming. We have parents ask in line all the time, how scary is it? And I'm always the first to say, um, I really don't think I would take my kids through. And if you want, that's fine, but we, you know, kind of put up a caution that says it can get pretty scary, and we don't want kids screaming or um, slugging one of our actors or um, peeing all over your mom or whatever. Uh, we had about a nine, eight or nine-year-old last year kick one of our guys pretty hard in the shin, and so, you know, we always warn the actors, hey, be careful, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Doors open to children and adults alike at 6.30 p.m., running until 9.30 p.m. The inside games proved popular as well, drawing a multitude of parents and children. According to OIT student housing officials, ending numbers were at 1,759 visitors to the haunted house. This does not include OIT students. The tonnage for food collected is not yet known. Um, we would like to exceed last year, which was a little over 1,000, if I remember right. And so, you know, 1,200 pounds would be great. And some cash donations, if you forget the canned food, would be accepted. Uh, the food bank is always just grateful that we were able to help them out. Uh, you know, it's prime time right now with the holidays coming up they always want as much as they can get so